everyone. Welcome to our glorious Ashes of Creation November development update. We hope that you've had a wonderful month. Um, it actually hasn't been a month. It's been two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to say it's been like just slightly over two weeks. Yeah. Um, obviously, with the holidays, we kind of have to adjust and uh, zhuzh around our stuff a little bit. Um, so the November live stream is a little early and that also means the December one will be a little early due to holidays. And I think we should be back to normal in December. We usually try to do these the last Friday of the month in case you weren't aware of that. Um, but you know, sometimes stuff in life gets in the way and you have to adjust it. Um, yeah. dang holidays. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, of course I'm Margaret Crone. I'm your community marketing lead. And with me today is as always our wonderful and glorious creative director, Stephen Shreve. How have you been? Hello. Wait, you're wonderful and glorious as well. We need to make sure we include that as part of your know. intro. I don't know about that. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a potato. Uh, um, I've been good. I'm, I just am recovering from that week long flu I had, which was terrible. Um, and then you went into a 24 hour live stream the whole time. I'm like, Stephen, are you sure you want to do this? Should we move yeah, it in a week? <laughs> yeah, like... that was that, that was rough. That was definitely yeah. rough. <clears throat> but you know what? It was for the kids and it was cool. Um, but yeah, no thing. I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm, you know, I like your little good. rooster. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> what is it's that? My, it's my my sorcerer pet for my Pathfinder campaign that I play. Aww. I have like a Brahma chicken. That's my like. Oh, that's your familiar? <laughs> yeah, it's my <laughs> familiar. Oh, that's cool. It's my uh, emotional pet, and its name is Pecker, and you can imagine where that goes. Um, <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Uh, we have a good time, though. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I like, it's not, it's, it's, I'm with my friends. We have fun. <laughs> um, but yeah. You know I just realized I what? forgot in the haste to get. The water? You forgot the water. No, no, I got the water. Okay. But I forgot my intrepid shirt. Oh, yeah, you always wear that. I you know. What's know. Funny? Oh, this is terrible. Is I people... feel terrible. Do I have like a backup somewhere? <laughs> In the OG times when everyone was wearing their intrepid shirt and I wasn't, they're like, why does Margaret not have to wear it? And I was like, no one has to wear the shirt. They just all decide to wear it. I think it looks not that flattering on me personally. Uh, no, it looks good. It looks good. Um, But... You know, everyone has their own vibe that they're going for. Anyways, if you haven't tuned into one of our development updates before, um, we usually go over quick reminders. I promise today is not as long as last time. I feel like it was a very long reminder That's last funny. time because we went over all the glorious Gorg winners, but you should go check those out if you haven't. Um, and of course, we have our studio update, design update, environment art update, character art update, and a little Q&A as well. Um, so thank you all for submitting your questions. I'll get right into the quick updates here. First and foremost, we had our Extra Life um, event, which was amazing. We raised over $34,000 as a group. So thank you so much. Um, we have amazing community. Um, we know that, you know, you could be spending your time doing anything else. Um, so we appreciate everyone who tuned in, everyone who uh, donated, and everyone else who kind of ran their own little teams or their own stream as well, streams as well as part of our little team. Um, and we raised a lot of money for a good cause. Uh, the recap is over on our news post. You can also see a little video that um, is, you know, crams all the 27. We actually did 27 hours. Uh, it, it puts all the 27 hour bits into about 30 minutes. So a little bit more consumable if you want to check out some of the great moments, uh, see our characters and all of that jazz. Uh, we know that people have questions about the lore that was unlocked. We actually have more than three parts of lore, and we'll be releasing those throughout the next months, um, next year. We want to um, fix up <laughs> those videos a little bit and redo some VO because that was like my first pass on VO, and we were just trying to like get them all ready for the live stream. Um, but we, we really do want to make them really nice, and we'll put them up as articles as well as have some images of our in-game pictures and screenshots for you. So... Yes. Oh yeah. Hello. I'll do the little the little Tulnar Tulnar hello for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can check that out. And also, Radies made a wonderful video. If you want to understand what all of the money that goes, or like what all the little bits and pieces of um, of things that they they do. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't talk. What money 
is used for. There you go. Um, and she even talks about like she breaks it down into pieces and, and, and specific amounts. So if, you know, you donated thirty five dollars, what that goes towards. If you donated fifty dollars, what's that what that goes towards. So we really appreciate that. Um, beyond that, we've been doing um, obviously we have our next cosmetic update. Uh, just as a reminder that the Home Waters uh, Homecoming cosmetic set will be swapping over on December 8th to the December set. So if you want that, go forth and get it. Um, and in our latest dev discussion, we asked you, do you prefer to set up your UI very minimally, covering your screen with as much information as possible? or something in between and what UI information is absolutely essential to you. And you all provided some amazing feedback. We've compiled that will be, or we will be compiling that. I think I haven't seen that report yet. Um, but that will be coming over to our dev team. And of course we will have our December one, which is kind of perfect for the theme that we have going on here, which is holidays. Um, and this kind of incorporates like, would you like to have in-game holidays that, you know, correlate with, the holidays that we have currently, those type of things. Um, so definitely give us your feedback on those. I think those are always really fun. Um, Would you like to build a snowman? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like that song a lot. I know. <laughs> and also, you can hear Steven singing in the recap. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, no, no. We all Mistake. sang if you want to watch the whole video. Well, not all mm -hmm. of us. A good portion of us sang. But Steven is amazing, and we put him in the recap, of course. Um, beyond that, we had our guild gatherings. Um, which is, what tools do you wish you had in navigating the politics of guild-to-guild -guild conflict? And the next uh, month one is a spicy, spicy one. It is about spies and intrigue. So keep an eye out for those in December, of course. And as a just a reminder in general, our content creator program is still taking applications. Those will close down at some point so that we can review them. Um, so Please get those in there if you're interested in your content creator or if you know one, send them our way because we'd love to um, have them join us. And beyond that, um, I know I talked last month about the web update, but that's continuing to go forward. Um, they're still working on a lot of the behind the scenes stuff for the SSO, the 2FA, the security, um, and as well as the support web pages and mobile pages. Um, the designs are already done with those. Now they're just in the implementation phases and testing phases. So um, we're hoping I, to have uh... those. I soon. found a I found a shirt. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! You changed in between. Them. I was like so busy doing this, I didn't even realize that you changed. Did you, like, did you like? Did someone come and like bring you their shirt and be like, let's swap? Maybe. No man. <laughs> Whose shirt are you wearing, Stephen? Whose shirt are you wearing? Buddies, this okay, is right. my shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm no, good. Really, whose shirt is it? I, I'm I totally, it. I'm totally good. Who is somebody said who's shirtless in the office? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's probably an uh, HR issue. <laughs> yeah, that would be an HR issue. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's our updates. Uh, like I said, I was going to be quick this time around. We've got a lot of other stuff we want to show you and talk about. So I'm going to kick it over to you, Stephen, to talk about studio updates. <laughs> Yes. Well, it's only been two weeks since our last studio update. Yeah. So there's not an incredible amount of update to give. Um, things are still going well. We had our Extra Life live stream. That was a great boost of morale mm -hmm. for the studio. It always is to see how amazing our community is during that during that event. <coughs> um, things are going, still going good on the hiring front. Um, we are having our second potluck in the office today, yeah. which is cool. I'm excited about. Last time we had a live it's stream, there's a Friendsgiving a theme this this month. Yes, it is a Friendsgiving theme. Um, excited about that. Um, We're doing really, some board games as well. Yeah, everyone. board games also. There's not really too much of an update from the last update honestly between yeah we're still waiting on some furniture weeks. uh we have some murals that need to be painted and things like that so um you know yeah we're not quite that ready would... to do a tour like i said it'll probably be next year we get that question a lot <laughs> um and once our live stream studio and stuff is set up we will be doing that in person again and we'll have many guests that will join us throughout those live streams as well yeah but for now it's just 
easier if I do the setup here um, versus trying to do it all from the office. It, yeah, I did a I did a walkthrough with our designer with our with John and our interior designer for the studio um, and pointed out all the spaces for the art, the murals for the ashes of creation art to go up with. Um, you know, got a lot of the ancillary stuff, so that was kind of recent update on the studio. You know, it's funny, during Kickstarter, we had a package, I think, that um, entitled people to come and do an in-person tour. Mm -hmm. I think those are the, is that like, I think yeah. that's Phoenix Initiative, right? Yeah, yeah. Phoenix Initiative and higher. Um, so it's going to be fun and exciting to have those people out and yeah. have, walk them through the process and let them see all the departments and, you know, how it, we'll have a whole, we we'll have seen. a whole thing planned for them. So it'll be yeah. a, a very good time and you'll get to hang out with a lot of developers and we'll make it fun. Yeah, that'll be exciting. <laughs> you will have sure. to sign an NDA. No, I'm yes. Sorry. I mean, they already, do, <laughs> they already have. <laughs> <laughs> if they haven't yeah. yet, they will have to. Um, but yeah, we will be reaching out to, um, I know there's been a lot of questions in regards to just to go back to the Kickstarter topic in general. Um, as we get further in development, we will be reaching out to people about those specific things that you unlocked. Like I know there's some um, things that you get to design and stuff like that or work with us to design or, you know, your statues, that kind of stuff. So those things, we will be reaching out to you, but just those will be later. We're still in the alpha phase of our game, obviously. So, you know, not quite ready for that yet. This shirt's a little tight for me, I think. <laughs> is it a medium or a small it's a medium okay. normally i wear a large <clears throat> but yeah well it's kind of a crop top actually a little bit but i, I won't stand up so it's okay <laughs> I'm, just... <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just kidding <laughs> it's a little crop top. Oh. that's great you are pretty tall so I that is that. true <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness all right. Well, beyond the studio, and obviously, like we said, this is pretty quick between now and November. December is when we'll probably have quite a bit more. And I think we're going to try to do a thematic one, kind of like we did for Halloween. So we'll have a lot of fun. You'll definitely want to tune in. Um, beyond that, let's move on to the design stuff. I know you have a video. Do you want to talk a little first about what design is working on and <clears throat> preface the video? And then we'll play. Yeah, on. absolutely. So over this actually over this last week we had a lot of design discussion on combat and the direction that combat has been moving towards post alpha one and where it needs to be for alpha two i think there's a lot of exciting um prospects for what players are going to be uh testing out even leading up to alpha 2 there's some prototyping that's being done as well in league with those conversations on combat we have a, we've had a lot of lively um <clears throat> lively and passionate discussions with the design team on that front um but it's very important to note and you know we've said this in the past obviously that during those phases especially alpha 1 <clears throat> where we got player feedback and we were able to do you know, some minor adjustments during alpha one, there's a lot of major things that are occurring right now, even in these prototypes for alpha two, um, that I think is going to have combat in a really nice place for alpha two. So, yeah. um, there's been a lot of development of that over the last week. Um, <clears throat> can you talk a little the, bit about the possible changes that may be coming to combat. I know not. I yeah. I know it's not quite like decided on certain things because I know you guys are going to be prototyping some options uh, right. for changes, but yeah. it could get some people who, especially our theory crafter folks, who love talking about that stuff, sure. um, a little a little juice. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of the discussion has been, you know, re revolving around how the camera perspective works from an action and non-action based you know, perspective, tab target versus action, right? There's a lot of discussion about, you know, what unifying that approach might look like or in continuing to offer, you know, two modes, um, how that's going to share across abilities. We've discussed in the past, giving players the opportunity to spec into more action-oriented skills versus tab targeting skills. <clears throat> There's some prototyping that actually, I think is going to be explored here and we'll see how it pans out um, that, allows for you know skills to have a, a dual purpose in that sense potentially uh, but on the flip side of that coin there's also um, the idea of of keeping to what is um, you know having skills be specifically in one domain or the other uh, but making sure that they they are they feel good 
between either mode that players might play with, right? That's that's going to be a big endeavor. Um, additionally, <clears throat> you know, talking about performance and how projectiles work on the server and how, um, you know, do we want to be able to lead a target? You know, what's the ramifications of the hitbox dilemma that we've discussed? Having a uni universalized hitbox so that you know players are all, players aren't going to be focusing on making tiny characters to try and subvert that component. Let me you know, live my are, gnome life, Steven. And, uh, well, I mean, no, you I'm can <laughs> you can be a small character. We just don't work. want it to be small character that's competitive for the sake of having a smaller hitbox, right? So we, we've <clears> played, I feel like a lot of us and many people in chat, oh, actually I'm curious, just for a little interaction. If you're on YouTube, you can put, you can do this too. Uh, put a little um, one emoji in the chat or in, if you're in chat right now, just put the number one. If you have ever played a small character because it was advantageous. I'm oh, I've, I've, I, I <laughs> never have played. I mean, I've always seen people play small characters, but I never really personally liked playing small characters. So I always, I've usually played like humans. I am a right? small character. So I feel like I do tend, I do try to like play big characters sometimes because it's like I get to play the fantasy of playing a big I character. I want that like six foot four elf, you know, or it's like six two <laughs> human. I, ogre, I've oh, I've played like a big ogre in OG EverQuest. Like her name oh, was yeah. Shladuka. It was amazing. She touched people with her shaman abilities. It was great. Oh yeah, but uh, there's been a, you know a lot of a lot of fruitful discussions, a yeah. lot of great passion among the design team. We have we have great designers on the team, and um, you know it's really always fun for me to just not only hear the passion but hear the great ideas during these you know proposals and changes that that we're wanting to prototype and and do. And and I love being part of that you know discussion with that with the team and. They're just very talented individuals. So, you know, big props to the design team. Um, you guys out there, you're going to see their hard work come to fruition in Alpha Two. But right now, just know that they they are <clears throat> they are putting the best foot forward. Um, and discussing little... many things with Stephen, yeah. I feel like you look exhausted sometimes at the end of the day. I'm like, "Are you okay, buddy? Do you need to go get go, go get dinner?" No, it's a, I have I you know it it was understood that post alpha one there's just going to be you know a lot of discussion around design oriented components and yeah. and and that's a very good thing in my opinion especially mm -hmm. when you have you know such a group of talented designers that can come together and have fun talking about what we all have a passion for which is making a great mmorpg and yeah. i think <clears throat> you know it's it's always wonderful to see the passion for ashes that our team has and um, you know, sharing our collective. Well, they're passionate. Me. Absolutely. I can hear those meetings. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that is funny. Um, but just to preface the video you guys are going to see here in a moment, you know, we've said obviously over the last few live streams <clears throat> that during this process uh, in moving towards Alpha 2, a lot of the, uh, the, the front end of that timeline is going to be things being ripped apart, things being changed, things being, you know, implemented. Um, and because of that, <clears throat> we're not as able to show you those work in progresses until a little bit later when they're more solidified and presentable. Um, so this video is going to be another little video showing off some of the some of the mounts in the world. Um, you guys are probably getting a little they're bit like of, stop showing us. Mounts, <laughs> don't show me mounts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to happen soon. It'll happen soon. Yeah. But um, we, for now, we have been telling you guys like, um, you know, right now they're doing a there's a lot of stuff going on um, and we can't show you all of this, all of it, like, right. The things that the engineers are working on, um, yes. especially like the character creator stuff and some of the um, like combat things that they're working oh, yeah. on for prototypes. Like we, we can't quite show you that side yet, but I, tr I tried, yeah. honestly, last night I was in the dev branch and I was looking at some of the advanced, um, you know, uh, um, locomotion for the, <clears throat> for the character movement. And, uh, animation and engineering have been working on Alexi and Chris and um, Alexi Cadoli and, and Chris Myers have been yeah, it looks working cool. on, I've seen some of on it. changing a lot of that and, and incorporating even some additional traversal methods as part of yes. character movement, like being so able to good. mount on top of objects or rocks and being able to move in that fashion. Um, and it does look good, but they were like, please don't show it yet. <laughs> Yeah. So that, that, and that's the other side it's of it too, not right? Like, like this. <laughs> yeah. Some people aren't quite ready to share. And I, and I think like 
from the perspective of developers, we, we want to be proud of what we share. And yes, we do want to show you guys like the work in progress, which we will, but it has to be to a state where like people are proud enough to share, right? And so um, what you see every month is kind of like what people are prepared to share. Um, yeah. Hopefully maybe next month or, or maybe in January when they're feeling I tried. better. I, I Like I said, I yeah. logged into that dev branch last night and I as I was logging in, I had one of the developers message me like, I see you logged in. What are you doing on the dev branch? And I was like, nothing, I'm just looking. And they're like, don't show it for the stream tomorrow. It's not ready. And I'm just like, all right, fine. <laughs> but I saw that you were asking about the locomotion stuff. So I know. It is really cool. I've gone over to um, Alexi's desk and he was showing it to oh, me. Yeah. And then, you know, cool. we were discussing some of like the repercussions that come with that too, right? Like, um, from that perspective, whenever you do add that type of movement and interaction with objects, mm -hmm. then the question comes like, when you're in the middle of combat and you're like holding onto a wall, what happens? And that, those kind of questions right. and things like that. So there are still some unanswered questions that they're, you know, resolving on the design front. For sure. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So the video is just going to be <clears throat> um, a little fun, 11 minute long video in the world of Alpha One. Um, but yeah. All right. We'll toss Enjoy. it over to that, and we will see you all momentarily. Hello, glorious Ashes of Creation community. This is Stephen Sharif. I am joining you on another awesome stream day. It feels like we just had a stream, actually. It was like less than three weeks ago. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, as I've said in the previous few streams... We are currently in the process of working towards Alpha 2. That means a lot of stuff is work in progress. A lot of stuff is being torn apart and, and iterated upon. But that does not mean that I can't show you some interesting things. For example, we have some new mounts. It is our awesome character and animation team that have created some pretty cool looking mounts and I'm going to show you a few of them today. As you can see we are looking out over the beautiful oceans of the Alpha 1 environment and uh, I want to show you just a few of these mounts. So which one should we start with first? Now some of these you have seen in the previous uh, live streams um, but not in game yet. So, you know, actually, considering we are in a beach environment, let me see. I should be wearing some appropriate beach attire. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. We are ready for the beach. Um, oh, should I have the cape on? Eh, yeah, this is good. All right, first up, we have the glorious looking frog. I think. Wait, where's my frog? Oh no. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at this little dude. Look at this cool looking horn thing. He looks pretty cool. wonder how he moves. Oh, he does the hoppity hop. He's just hopping his little life away. You know, they say these guys are pretty good swimmers, too. He does have some webbed feet. Let's take a look at his swim. Actually, it might be a little cold. Let me see, is it cold? Yeah, it looks a little cold. Let me put some, uh... Hold on. Let me put back my, my shirt. Because we're going to go in the water. There we go. Alright. Let's see how this guy does underwater. Oh, there he is. Look at him! He's a little swimmer! Oh, he's a great swimmer. He's just swimming his best life. He just keeps swimming. Just keeps swimming. He, he should have, like, some type of tongue attack. Where he just, like, snatches up a little fish or something. Yeah, I like his little swim animation. Oh, that's great. Let's see how he does on, on shore. We'll get him over there and see if he can hoppity hop hop around some of these crabs. Little known fact, crabs are actual natural predators. 
of multiple frog species. Oh yeah, that looks great. The animation team did a great job with this guy. The model looks really good. Loving it. Very cool. How big, how high can he jump? <laughs> I kind of like how he does like a free fall with his arms and legs spread out. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Put this little dude away. All right, next up, what do we have? I think this guy, the Maelstrom. is not working. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love the uh, the spawn animation where it just kind of comes out of the ground. Of course, my character has an awesome uh, writing stance. Just kind of like, yes, carry me forward. Look at his little squiggly, his little squiggly feet. Little squiggly tentacles. Oh, this guy, he, he has some pretty cool movements. His, uh... He has, like, barnacles or something along the outside of his shell. I wonder what type of animal husbandry capabilities are going to be had with these types of mounts, huh? Maybe instead of these little tentacles that are floating beneath him. They're like little fur tentacles instead. Oh, I wonder what his idol anim is. Let's take a look. Ready? Aww. He does like a little spin! Oh, that's so cool. Let's take him in the water. Let us go deep into the depths of the ocean. Okay, he's struggle busting a little bit in the water, it looks like, but he's keeping me dry. Let's go down. That kind of feels like the land animation a little bit. It's kind of cool though. I like his little face little eyes. This guy's awesome. Alright, let's see who we have next. Now this guy. This guy is a chonkster, as you might call him. A little bit of a chonkster. Let's see. The Verdant Voyager. So we have the Dredgehorn little toad frog dude. We have the Maelstrom's crown. Now we shall try the Verdant Voyager. Ooh. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Let's see what happens when we do his idol. Oh, He lays his head down. Maybe a little yawn? Yeah? No? Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Let's not do that again. He has, like, little mushrooms. He has his own ecosystem on his back. That's awesome. He has, like, little... That's pretty cool. Alright, let's take a look at him. Oh, yeah, he's got, like, a total, like, alligator crocodile looking run. Oh, the jump's not bad. Yeah. Kind of does the whole fish out of water look. That doesn't have any sounds yet. But that's okay. Let's take him out in the ocean. Oh, this is going to be like a total, like, placid lake look, I bet. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, he is a predator looking for food. Feed me. 
You need some type of like large marine life that he can just aim to eat. I love the swimming animations. Oh, this guy is pretty cool. Look at oh, look at him the wade in water. <laughs> His hand movements are really weird. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just out here looking for some dinner. Need some food. Oh yeah, this guy's great. Love his animations. You know what we should do? We should speed up. Sorry, this little cough. Um, recovering still from a unfortunate sickness. <laughs> but, let us speed him up a little bit. to take off. We're going to go warp speed here in a second. Boo! Oh, he had a rock. I just want to jump him off the top of a hill because I really liked his um, his jump animation. Wait for it. Oh, oh look at that. We got a little grayscale dragon over here. Some griffins. Alright, here we go. Mega chunk. Mega chunk jump. Mega chunk jump incoming in three, two. Oh wait, no, no. Oh, I didn't do the chunk jump. Shoot, I'm sorry. Let me try that one more time, just real quick. I'll run back up there. I just want to do the whole fish out of water look. All right, wait for it. Can we get back up there? All right, here we go. Mega chunk jump incoming in three, two. No, 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 no! Oh, darn it! All right, well, I tried. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> anyways, guys. Um, as I said, we are still heavily working on uh, Alpha Two stuff. You'll be seeing more of that in the future streams, as we have said previously. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I hope you guys enjoy this little look at the introduction of new content in the game, new um, creatures, new mounts for you guys to find, discover, adventure with, uh, and create um, the world of Eris coming to life. And we're excited to have you as part of that journey. So I will see you guys back on stream here in just a second. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I tried to get the chonk jump because I liked his little fish out of water animation for the jump. Yeah. But I, I was moving too fast and I didn't I didn't jump prior to flying off the side of the mountain. So I couldn't get Yeah, it. I was like maybe you didn't turn off the speed the speed boosties I that you know. had. Uh, um know. but people were talking about like footprints in the sand and stuff like that. We'll definitely be adding those additional things um as like, Oh we'll yeah, sorry. Um so yeah, um, a lot of the sound effects are not in yet for these creatures. These <laughs> the cre just the creatures are in. So there's still polish, of course, on um, some of the animations, mm -hmm. on um, the sound effects, and uh, some of these creatures also have visual effects that have yet to be implemented as well. Like yeah. I know there's going to be a little bit of like you know glowy orb stuff at the bottom of the maelstrom, you know, for the tendril stuff. I think and... it's all, all that wasn't swimming quite. Right, yeah, and I, yeah, and I, yeah, right swimming animation. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Although to be fair, I'm not sure how you differentiate his floatiness on yeah, land. He's very buoyant. He's got water. like a big shell going on. So. Yeah, I'd imagine his swim animation could take those little tendrils and have them all kind of like push at once, you know, and that Ooh, could be yeah, his yeah. swim component, right? Um, but yeah. Yeah, but we're gl we're glad you guys like it so far. I saw a lot of nice commentary. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to add on the front of? design stuff before we move on to environment um ba, 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 ba. not really much that i can think of outside of last the couple weeks ago update um yeah just a, a lot of a lot of uh, proposal changes uh, moving into working on some of the uh, prototyping for those changes in the uh, alpha 2 maybe we can show um, some of work. the prototypes Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, we yeah. will be sharing some of those prototypes. Yeah. yeah, so stay tuned. 
and we will want feedback from the community. Absolutely. The reason we would share that is, you know, we want you guys to give us feedback on that prototyping as well. Um, so expect that in the future. All right. Well, let's move on over to our environment goodness. And we've got some cool stuff. First up here, we have a little do near camp environment set. And, you know, as they were talking about in the previous month, um, they're, you know, starting to do some Kalar stuff too. So you're going to be seeing, seeing more of those. Um, and some more Empyrean stuff. So I'll share that next up. We've got a few Empyrean <clears throat> items. Very beautiful. We've got some candles here. I like that targeting dummy. Oh, yeah. the, <laughs> the, tar the, target the target stuff targeting is really cool. cool. This one yeah. has little apples on it too, which is fun. Um, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and then we've got some folding chairs. I love that you can fold up the chair too so you can you know set it up hide it away um kind of navigation tool set that, that can oh. be put on desks or on on various different objects um this you've been seeing great. a few different boats that will be kind of seen in the scenery this one is in, specifically an empyrean one i think in the past we've shown some other different types of, of rowboats and such what do they call this a little uh a rowboat is it a rowboat or is yeah. it a, like a skiv? I think it's called. Oh, well, maybe. I think it said rowboat on the thing. So, oh. and it had row. Yeah, it's probably rowboat. That's um, true. some more table pieces. Oh, look and at you that can artichoke. Oh, well, now I want some like artichoke and spinach dip. I don't think anyone brought any artichoke and spinach dip. Maybe next Aww. potluck. <laughs> There's a lot of food though, I'm sure. Now, who did these props? Was uh, this um? I they Hal? didn't provide names for me for the props. A character art did provide me names for. Everyone who did them. Got it. Well, like the platform. I see, mm -hmm. I foresee that a mayor at some point will step onto this platform and give good reasons for why he should be elected or he or she should be elected again. Or maybe a stage for a bard for poetry jam or something. Mm -hmm. Could be fun. I love this desk. It's so pretty. And then kind that of uh, dividers and you can see it open and closed. I now these are concept. That's pieces. concept, yeah. Yeah. Signpost like concept. This. Oh yeah, the signposts look great. All right, and then moving on from there, we've got some Kalar goodies. Um, I believe there's quite a few lighting fixtures. Um, they get some good zoom ins on these pieces too, which is the noble yeah. lion. Yeah, the detailing is very nice. Some vases, vases in there, basket of fruit. Then you can kind of see it in game. <laughs> it's a little gift, so that's why it's like looping like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they put it in the scenery. I was like, that's cute. Um, and then this is a beautiful dresser. I think they've had oh, they have a yeah. cabinet as well somewhere. And a little side table. I just can't wait to decorate our freeholds and stuff. It's going to be so, so cool. That is a big highlight for me. I do Just, love decorating. Yeah. I told you about the story one time when I was playing um, another game that had housing, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> had housing and decor inside. Mm -hmm. And um, you could be pushed around in this game if you went AFK and I would often go AFK. And I got like pushed in a cart <clears throat> into a boat and then taken on the boat to an island and then pushed off the island shore into the house <laughs> and then the house's door must have been closed behind me or something because I, I could not find a door in this house but there was a table in the center of the house so I was I came back to my character and I saw there's no door I don't know where I am I'm inside some house and in the in the house there was just a, a nice little rug in the center there was this table and on the table was a gun and oh next to gosh. the gun was some bullets. And <laughs> Steven, <laughs> the like, story wait, is taking a turn. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> but I, I was oh like, God. this is actually really great. <laughs> like, this is cool. They were able to do this. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just poured it. I poured it out of the house. But you know, I've had similar, I think I understand uh, not were. like the, not that dark, but I've had a, a situation where I had to be like boarded up into a house to do some crafting. And then I had to have like 
the door unlock and I had to have a group of people escort me to uh, a <laughs> vendor to, 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 to submit the items that I oh, crafted. Because no. we were trying to get like the level one or the max level crafter, you know, first oh, server yeah. first. And it was just crazy because people would be like outside the house waiting to like murder you so that you oh couldn't get gosh. it because the other uh, the other guild is trying to get theirs to the first. It was madness. <laughs> That's um, funny. <laughs> the stories. That story is dark, Stephen. It, I like I said, I didn't do it, but it was it was hilarious, honestly, because yeah. not so much the gun and the table, but the fact that there was no way out of the house. I I don't personally even understand how that happened yeah i don't know how that like, maybe hmm. there was I no mean, door? legitimately there was no door oh weird i wonder if it was a I developer i don't think you can craft like that's what i'm saying like there was no the available like, house yeah that to house was like preset pre-made so i don't know i know which I game you're talking about all right yeah. let's move on to character stuff <laughs> the the first thing we have here to show you is the black scale inverter and i mean this looks awesome. We don't really have a ton of clothes that, uh, or costumes or armory that show off a lot of skin, but here you go. Here's one of them. So yeah, this see. looks great. Is this, this is Eli? Um, this is Eli. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks very cool. Very, very cool. Did a great job on this one. Yeah. So I would and love course, to see this the armor. Men get to show it off too. It's not I just know, ladies. Right? I would love to see this armor though on like a really out of shape character. You know <laughs> what like I mean? A, a pot belly. It's like a total beer belly, like in the middle of the of the of the armor. Yeah. That would be awesome. I'm sure. I mean, you will get your dream. <laughs> People will make <laughs> weird characters if you allow them. Um, that's something on the character art side where they're kind of deciding. Um, I know. Katkins was talking to me a little bit about it in Myers about how, you know, what, where is that maximum slider for all of these different races? Sure, and yeah. How far do they want people to go and the crazy uh, options that they can create? Uh, Steven himself <laughs> has created some um, monstrosities, I'll just say. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the fun of the character creation, <laughs> you know, it's like you get to make them your own, so to yeah. speak. And, you know, it's, it's, of course, it's nice to look at a fit, you know, character, but it's also cool to look at. Look, we a, ain't all fit. I know, right? Like, I'm not fit. <laughs> no, I'm not either. And yeah, I like how you're like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you're not bad. Right. It's not bad. You're not like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not it's, fit. I was saying HR's I'm watching. Not. HR's watching. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey, oh, I'm sorry. That was great. <laughs> no, you're not bad. <laughs> you're not bad. Was so I great. was just that talking was about so myself. Great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I think I think the character creators should allow for you know significant body body type differentials because uh, I think that adds to the flavor of the world. Oh, the chance kill me. I'm like crying. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. I'm not that bad. No. Stop, Stephen. Gonna... I can't believe not... you You're just not... had the harassment training. I didn't harass you. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh my uh, god, I great. did so many hours of like it's a harassment prevention training, Stephen. Prevention. I know, the I know. Prevention needs to be there. Oh, I thought it was your training to harass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, too funny. oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> We're uh, a little kooky. It's Friday, guys. We're <laughs> Friday before a big holiday week. Uh, next time. We're just gonna that didn't happen. Uh it's so quick. To, when I walk uh, out into the potluck with my crop top, it, crop top, it'll all be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna move on to some amazing stuff that Gen C has done, which is this is the jaded drudger, which I'm like in awe of seeing this creation because um, yeah, obviously this came cool. from my crazy mind, but seeing it like as a 3D model is amazing. She does such yeah. a good job. I love it. Yeah, I like how I like how you can see. I mean, it looks like you can see a little bit in the front legs, like a cut there at the top of the leg. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder what type of variant legs these things can have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's like, what kind of monstro? This is Steven. He wants to make monstrosities. You guys, you guys know, give me, like, you give me, uh, like haggle. You haggle me for like the the snores being a thing, the whispering whelk. But uh, what kind of things are in Steven's mind? That's what you. This should guy kind of somebody in in Slack, I think, 
said this reminded them of that what there was a movie called the great wall mm. and they had little creatures in the great wall. yeah guys yeah they were talking about yeah because we give them a little remind, his feet. face yeah it kind of reminds me of that oh yeah that's right the pi guys yeah, 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 yeah i was i sent them <laughs> this is gonna be i sent them an alien like aliens alien for like the face inspiration mm -hmm. and then uh the body was like a like a big mastiff bulky dog um and then kind of like a dinosaur fish type of fin thing so and then it's cool know, yeah it yeah. looks amazing they did a great job Jinsi did a great job yeah thank you Jinsi. um moving on from there Jinsi made some stallions everyone's always like where are the horses at we got some horses for you um this is one of them Oh, and, and this was a touch up because we've yeah. shown this in the past, but yeah. this got this got a second pass. Yes. And we've touched up this, too. They're a little bit more bulky, too, it looks like as well. Oh, some variants. I yeah. love the peacock variant. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, this is is this. Uh, uh, I don't Oh no, this. Yeah, I remember what this was. Originally, this particular horse design was the like Seattle. Wasn't it the, like the Seattle horse or something? Wasn't it a Pax horse? I can't I like remember. The, oh, can't the, remember. the base horse that, that it yeah, came the from. Yeah, the base horse. And then these are variants potentially that can be found in world and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Purgle, and he's got a little, little video with a little audio. He snorts like a little pig. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Or her. It, yeah, I don't know. It's, or I think it's more uh, her right now. It doesn't have a... <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> It looks it looks so cute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's super cute. They can hear the little snorting too. That's why it's so cute. It has a it's very cute. Moving on from there, we're heading to our Q and A. So I'll play I'll play the video in the background that Stephen did. And, um, <clears throat> so you got something to look at instead of just looking at our faces. Um, but we'll move on to our questions. So thank you guys for submitting questions. We usually always put that out early um, so you can get your questions in. Be sure to you know follow us on social so you're reminded of those things. Or if you just check the forums every once in a while, we always let you know. Um, our first question here, if you're ready, Stephen. Yeah. Is from Sorry, I was Bar just thinking about oh, I was just thinking about the Purgle. Yeah. And like, okay, I can go back to the Purgle. What, no, I was just thinking like whether or not the Purgle is going to have this like almost gremlin esque attitude in what it does. <laughs> where it just like steals things and like causes like a little mayhem. Um, I can't remember the lore. I was trying to remember what the lore for the Purgle is. I think that he's supposed to be like a your like a <clears throat> someone else will know right away. Like a little trickster. I don't remember if that if his he lore be, is. He looks trickster like he has a there naughty is a creature face. that has a trickster lore. I know. Oh yeah, sure. that's the troll with the the fireworks. Oh yeah, the troll for sure is <laughs> this little guy. This little guy's Wow, lore. somebody said who's down for a Purgle barbecue. Oh my <gasps> gosh. You guys. Uh, so the lore, VR. The wow. lore for this was an, an uneventful and seemingly ceaseless guard duty can take its toll, as boredom is as dangerous as any blade. Thus did the guard come up upon a solution through the diminutive Purgle. A deceptively intelligent and empathetic creature, the Purgle is trained to accompany and even entertain those of the guard who begin to feel their sanity slowly erode from monotony. Uh, their favorite activity is to watch the royal ceremonies unfold, where they have the best view perched on a pauldron. Redheart asks, if you feed it after midnight or get it wet, does it just duplicate? <laughs> <laughs> so they're very... Uh, <laughs> They're, they're made for entertainment, so totally I could see them, like, doing some silly stuff, taking someone's helmet. and. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, what are our questions? Right. What do we got? First question we've got is from Varkin, and it is about gear sets. Will we be able to save gear presets and swap between them with a key press while out of combat? So kind of like Ooh, setting up, like, your so PvP funny. set, your... We Dungeon just literally had that question come up in one of our um, design meetings last hmm. week. I, th I think the answer is going to probably be no, that you won't be able to do a hot swap of your full gear set with a button. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a few reasons for why we want that to be the case. Um, 
if we were to implement a feature like that, it would not probably be um, an option while in combat. Um, so yeah, they um, asked for out of combat specifically. Yeah. So yeah, if it was out of combat, maybe. I think maybe yeah. Yeah, I think it from my my personal side effect. I like being able to like swap between like my PvP gear or my raid gear or my dungeon grid gear or right. my RP gear. You know, gotta have those outfits, man. Um, all right, our next yeah. question is from Nostra, and it is about sieges. Yeah, I think, and oh. and just real quick, I'm sorry, just on that note. Um, yeah. I think really the actual discussion was in combat, we wouldn't want that to be the case. But out of combat, I think that actually is going to be fine. Okay. Um, but yeah. 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 And their their question was specifically out of combat. Perfect. Okay, um, Nostra wants to know about sieges. Is the siege scroll declaration specific to a particular node ID, node type, or node advancement stage? It's a node stage, yeah. The scroll is specific to a node stage. Okay. And then Happy Happy Meal 2415 wants to know, uh, skill trees. Considering the team is looking at a potential skill tree for active blocking, are there mm -hmm. other skill trees being considered? For example, stealth or sneaking? Um, so active block. So <clears throat> I think the uh, discussion right now on the design team side in this, you know, is, is part of, um, our prototyping um, is that players will likely have access to universal skills. So, you know, outside of your class specific skill tree, there's going to be a subsection of a few skills that are universal, like active block, like dodge. Um, <clears throat> and I think what we're going to do, um, or at least what we're going to be discussing here, um, is those universal skills will have progressions that might align with your passive tree. And you can spec skill points into progressing additional features of those universal abilities um, uh, that you will have access to. <clears throat> so I think that's probably gonna be the direction uh, that we're gonna take. Okay, awesome. Uh, and then Just Fine wants to know about nodes. For economic mayorship, will there be a way to see campaign funds or con contributions, or will gaining mayorship be kind of like a blind one shot? That's a good question. <clears throat> I think the preference would be to have that be um, have that be uh, uh, something that the players are made aware of. Um, so I think as part of that election result, uh, there would be an accounting of of that oligarchical type election method. All right. Next question is about server stats, and this is from Kozizu. Kozezu? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. You can let me know in a Discord DM or somewhere how to pronounce it properly. Um, I do see some of you guys do tell me how to how to say your names properly, so thank you. I don't want to say it wrong. I just don't know how. Um, they want to know. Kozezu. Zezu, yeah, I don't know. Kozizu, Kozezu. <laughs> they want to know: Do you plan to surface server stats such as how many players of a certain archetype slash class there are on each server? Um, that might be information that we share on a time to time basis, but like it's not going to be. Yeah, like in graphic, but it's not going to be like, oh, I can go on the website and look up my server stats and population stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Like if we do share it, it'll be a something of our, you know, choosing a time or whatever, um, not an accessible data point that the players would have access to. We have discussed potentially allowing people to uh, show some of those details in regards to their guild recruitment. Sorry, there's a plane oh, going yeah. ahead if you hear that. Wow, is that a plane? It's yeah. A, sounds like a something um yeah no uh from a guild perspective that's a different story if we're talking about server stats um it's, that's that's one thing but guild stats we do want to surface uh to the guild um and even even filter who gets to see that information in the guild uh, to least census. <laughs> yeah we come by knocking on everyone's house <laughs> what class are you this year no i'm just kidding yes. <laughs> um but yeah, I, I just wanted to preface that um, on the guild front, we, we you know, recruitment side, we want to let you guys show that data. 
Yeah. Um, next up, we've got our friendly neighbor, speaking of which, uh, wants to ask about PvP permissions. Do players other than those in my party and guild have the ability to PvP within my Freehold's uh, zone of influence? Well, Freehold's don't have um, zones of influence. Uh, the question is, are players allowed to PvP within my maybe Freehold? then I would say probably not. I think the freehold is intended to be, specifically the freehold, uh, is, in send, is intended to be a, a protected area. Okay, but if, Al if unless the town gets siege. siege and the town yeah. gets destroyed. Yeah, if the town gets destroyed, the freehold's up for grabs and it's, it, is, it is a PvP area. It becomes a PvP, it activates. Yeah, the, the protection of... area is disabled for that period of time. The big shield holding you together, your town together, <laughs> in two forms. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and blood rage. No, I'm just kidding. Right. Uh, <laughs> get pack. Get Patsy wants to know about world bosses. When killing a a, uh, a world boss, will there be world effects, or will it just drop loot? Like, will it affect the world and have? There, there will be ancillary effects that are, that happen as a result of particular world bosses being downed. Yes. Um, not always, not every boss, um, but um, certain ones, absolutely. Right. And I think that's all the questions. Um, there were a lot of questions that were asked in the thread and our lovely community team, um, Lieutenant Toast and, and Vaknar will be answering those for you guys. I think most of those were all repeated questions that we've answered in the past. We try to only gra grab the kind of new ones or ones that are, ta are taking a new take on stuff. Um, but we do try to answer all of those. So if you um, asked a question, you didn't hear it answered here, make sure that you go and read that post whenever they post that. I believe that will be later today. Um, and yeah, check it out. Get you See what, what your answers are over there. Many of the questions that were asked were ones that we've already answered. So we like to make sure only the newest information is here in our, in our live streams. But with that, I think for the first time, we're doing an hour stream we're like we try to do these for an hour but steven and i talk we just talk too much I know. um and we get very excited yeah and, ju and just want to reiterate to everybody um <clears throat> you know as we've said before we want to take our time and make sure that we're creating a quality game mm -hmm. we know we know what it's like for games to be rushed we know that it does not serve anyone to rush something um, out the door as you can see hopefully in our updates you know we are very focused on quality um, because we want to create a very um, a very long and enjoyable you know experience that ashes is going to offer the player so we a hundred percent appreciate your guys's patience um, we appreciate you guys coming in and, and supporting us with our monthly updates with our events that our glorious community team helps to foster and the community um, <clears throat> and we will always continue to keep you guys updated and and let you see the progress that we're making here at intrepid yeah we really appreciate it thank you all so much um obviously if you want to go check it out we did our extra life um recently we did 27 hours <laughs> a little more than our 24 hours but you can go check that out over on our news page where we have the recap of it. Um, you'll, if you want to see Steven singing, I recommend it. Um, there's also a ton of other fun things that are in that recap. Beyond that, we do have a new dev discussion and guild gathering coming up. Please, 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 we implore you to give us your feedback on those because that helps us, you know, decide how we make, um, you know, design and make this game. And of course, we're going to continue to provide more updates for you guys in the next coming month. So you'll definitely want to tune into December and January as we move into the new year. Um, and of course, the December cosmetics will be swapping over on December 8th. Uh, we always let you know that in advance, but, you know, always like to give you a reminder. Um, this video will be over on our YouTube whenever it gets done exporting and uploading and all of that jazz. And of course, right after we finish here, it will be available on our Twitch channel, which you can access. And of course, follow us on all of the places. We're at Ashes of Creation. Super duper easy to find us. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the places. Um, so we'd love to see you have a uh, joint conversation with us over on the forums and over on Discord. Uh, we're there daily. So, you know, come come chat with us, hang out, um, and get excited for Alpha 2. We're going to be showcasing the development as we move forward towards that milestone. And um, 
We'll talk a little bit more about that in the upcoming months. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Toodles.